That fool He-Man will never look for me up here. My hideout should... Whoa! He totally touched my butt. Howdy folks, my name is Richie aka Bogotter, and welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 Gem Store Preview! We have new items in the Gem Store, the Black Lion Trading Company. We've got this new Lawless Helmet Skin, which is available for 300 gems. We also have a, let me find it, it is a shoulder pad that goes along with that, also for 300 gems. Come on little circle, come on little Cheerio. It doesn't look like a Cheerio. Mmm, I'm hungry. Alright, here we go, and we've got the Lawless Shoulder Skin, the Lawless Helmet, and the Executioner Outfit is back on the Gem Store for seven days. Last week it was the uh, fancy, fancy Winter's Outfit, and it looks like they're going to be rotating in the old costumes from before, which are now outfits. So, I figured, um, I'm just going to blow some gems here and, uh, you know, purchase some stuff and show you what we get. There's also a brand new uh, die pack, a Lion's Arch Commemorative Die Pack. Now, when you buy this, you get one die out of a pool of 25 colors and only six of the colors are new so just keep that in mind if you if you manage to get one of the new colors you could probably sell it on the gem store or use it if you like the color on the trading post not the gem store you could sell it and probably make a, a, a quick buck but the likelihood that you're gonna get one of those is slim but I'll be a guinea pig I'm gonna buy one of these complete my purchase all right we're gonna get that and let's take a look at the new all right all right we'll buy the helm it might look a little goofy, but we'll try it anyway. Let's see what these things look like. And that way we can kind of dye them and, and take a look at them properly. Oh, what the heck. Let's just go on a shopping spree. We're going to go with the, the... We'll get the Executioner's outfit as well. Why not? It's in the gem store for only seven days. I want it unlocked on all my characters. I mean, come on. It's a cool FIFA outfit. All right, I got lots of stuff now. I got presents. I got toys. Let's take all this stuff and... Have some fun. Oh, I unlocked all my shoulder skins. And what else we got? We got the die pack. Sweet! Okay, so let's start off with the Lawless Helmet skin. I guess we'll just put these on now. Sure, why not? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cover up my Bram look here. Something tells me these might be pretty uh Pretty similar. All right, we're going to throw that on there. Why not? It's already broken. That's great. Look, I bought a broken helm. I want a refund. And, uh, yeah, we'll put these shoulders on. Okay, cool. So, this is with the dies that I currently have in place. Let me get into a better lighted area here. Okay, you can see I've got some broken horns on top. And then some minotaur horns going there. And that they... They copy that same look onto the shoulder here. We got one broken spike and two other spikes. This was kind of like little suction cup looking thing on the other shoulder. It actually doesn't look bad with the Bram set. It kind of is a way to modify that a little bit. I might I might log into my other characters and show you the previews of what they look like on other races and stuff like that. But let's check out like the die uh, system for that. So what channels can we can we change here? So if we throw white. So, okay. I love the new preview on the dies. Alright, so this this is the channel for this die. You can make that white. I don't think white really looks good there. Maybe an antique bronze? Oh, that's nice. Look at that. And let's see the white for... You could do the... Yep, you can make the horns white if you wanted to. Uh, you can play around with the colors there. You can make red horns. And then the final channel is the metal bits. The little metallic bits there so we can kind of do something like oh honey eyes and if I wanted to apply all that let's do that okay so you can change the look on that, that looks pretty cool let's check out the die channels on the shoulder so we can kind of compare that all right so this is like the little frills the little frillies underneath I didn't even notice they were frillies until I tried to make them white. Okay, and then we're going to have... Let's do the antique bronze again. Okay, you can see that the, the main color changes with this. So we could do that. And what was the color we made? We did honey ice for the actual spikes. It's actually not a bad look for those horns. Okay, so again, the lighting. Why did I choose the glade? The glade is all like sparkly. Actually, it was daytime when I first thought about recording here, but now it's... Kind of change, but you get the idea. The little frillies, the little horns—they change there. 
I wonder what this is going to look like on a Sura. It's probably going to be like gigantic because their heads are huge. All right, so that's that. And uh, we also got the new uh, costume, right? Which is we can now use and unlock. Oh, it comes with an Executioner Axe toy. I didn't know that. Nice. So let's use this set, unlock the outfit. Go over here and we'll throw that bad boy on. All right, now there are... Is there dye channels for this too? Can you change this up? There are. Look at that. You can become Mr. Red. So let's just take a look. See, I have black unlocked, don't I? Where's my... There we go. Let's, let's see what it looks like with black dye. Black, 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 black. These little, like, red things. That's, those are my weapons. So, let me see. Oh, that's terrible. I don't want... I don't want my weapons because that looks, that looks bad. No weapons for you. Okay, here we go. Actually, where's the axe? I want the axe toy. Use. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's cool. Big hunk and axe. Uh, I don't look like I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't look like I belong in the Silvari capital city, do I? All right. So this is what it looks like. It's got the nice little skull. It's got some chains on it. It's really a good... Uh, oh, I got like a noose. I got a hangman's noose on my side. This is just a really cool outfit, especially if you're going to play like a Fifi character. Um, all right. Let's check out what the costume brawl stuff is. So you can do a melee attack and a corpse toss. Charge and toss another brawler. I don't see another brawler here, so can't really toss anybody unless somebody decides to go all costume brawly and then I will throw them. All right. Pull in and chop up brawlers. All right. So that probably sucks people in like a scorpion. Get over here. Target and execute a brawler. Okay. That just chops their head off. That's the Ned Stark ability right there. And uh, so, oh, you can summon a skeleton familiar. Let's do that. Summon a skeleton familiar. Here he is. There's my little man. Hello, little bone boy. Hello. That's his voice. Wow, he's... Oh, he's got a chainsaw sword. He has a chainsaw sword. That is amazing. You can see I'm easily amused. I've never saw the... I just never saw this outfit before, so... I never had this. All right, so that's pretty awesome. Now, keep in mind that this executioner outfit is actually an outfit. So what does that mean exactly if you're not familiar with the wardrobe system now? It's actually a one-piece set. And it comes all or nothing. You can't mix and match this with other things. So I can actually hide my co my outfit and that goes away. Or I can kind of select it here and then I get the whole thing. And you can, you can dye it or whatnot, but it, it comes as a package deal. Now, if you look in the wardrobe in your normal bank, not the guild bank, in your normal bank. And if you go to the outfits, you can see which ones are already there. So I've got my, my Skeletor Witch's outfit, and now I have the Executioner's one. And here are the other outfits that they've, that they've put out at some point. So the Bloody Prince, the Cook, the Fancy Winter outfit, that was the one they sold last week. The Mad King, the Pirate Captain, and of course, I already said the Witch. Now, so it's likely that in subsequent weeks, we might be able to purchase these other ones. I think out of all of these... Probably the Executioner is the coolest one overall, um, so that's why I kind of nabbed this one today. I don't know if I would buy something like the Chef, even though it would be funny to run around like that. But uh, I like the Executioner one quite a bit. Also, keep in mind that you can use these in combat now. I'm here on an Asura character. Let's take a look at the stuff that we just purchased. Wow, that's creepy. Look how creepy you can be. With the Executioner outfit on an Asura, that is something else. I like that a lot, especially with my glowing green eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a freak. Of course, he kind of looks freaky. Th that's freaky as well. I think pretty much everything looks creepy on an Asura. All right, let's look at the new armor skins I got here. The Lawless, right? Is that what they were called? That's right. Okay, so here's the helmet. It actually doesn't look as uh, e enormous as I thought it would on the Asura. That actually... I don't know. If you're going for more of a <laughs> barbaric-looking Asura, it, it actually kind of works. And let's put on the... Uh, Oh, the light shoulders. Light shoulders and the light helm. There you go. He's all ready. He's he's the road warrior Asura. Okay, let's check out let's check out these new skins on the char that I have here. This is a female char. Okay, here we go. We're gonna put on the, the shoulders and the lawless helmet. And there you see it. That actually it doesn't it looks cool because I have the horns from my actual char here as well and it actually makes it so it doesn't look like they're broken off 
They do have some clipping there, but it actually it actually kind of works. That that clipping is not terrible. The horns come through the helmet there, and then the the shoulder pads look pretty cool on this with this color scheme. I like the red and the black um, a lot. So that looks pretty neat. And we also can try out the executioner outfit. That's what a char looks like with the executioner set on, and that's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm also going to try my new skins on a female human. So you can kind of get the idea of what that looks like. So here's the helmet and the shoulders. I don't know, that looks like a little silly. The helmet looks silly on that, I think. But you can kind of get the idea of what it would look like if you're going to purchase this for a human female. And let's check out the Executioner outfit. And I think she looks pretty awesome there, especially with my Hall of Monuments daggers on her hip. Looks pretty cool. It'd be pretty neat to run around as an elementalist with this outfit on. It's like, surprise, I fry you with lightning. And finally, let's let's see what if my if I have any good luck today, what kind of dies we're gonna get. I'll preview the dies in a in a in a in a minute here, but let's let's open these up. And no whammies. What do we get? Oh, tungsten die, that was a whammy. Ooh, I got one of the new ones. Enameled solitude die. Alright, let's preview that puppy. It's like a purple. It's purpley. And let's, uh, and for the greedy among us, how much could I snag for that? 62 gold! I think I did well here. Now, your results may vary. I'll just put that in there. I've got three more of these puppies. Another tungsten die? What are the odds of that? Somebody could probably figure that out very easily. And breeze die. Come on! All right, I got one. I can't, I can't complain. I can't complain. I got one of the new rare dies, and it seems to be a good one with that uh, gold amount. So that paid off, but... Please do not do not believe that that is a common occurrence. All right, let's look at the other dies that are new. And we can kind of preview them real quick. And actually, they're all named enameled something or other. Now, don't be confused because there are more enameled dies than just that. All right, so this is um, this is one of the new ones. Enameled anamnesis die. We'll preview that puppy. That's kind of like a plum. It's like a plummy color. All right, we'll clear the preview. Actually, let's just preview again, get the full look. There we go. Anamnesis. Okay, sacrifice die. This looks like more of a red color. Dark red. That looks pretty cool with the executioner outfit, doesn't it? And solitude is the one I picked up, right? This is the purple one that I just grabbed. Looks like it's it's the third most expensive one. And Crimson's not new. Sky's not new. Perse Perseverance, however. I almost said Perspiration. Enameled Perspiration die. Ew. It's kind of like a jade color. I, I like that one a lot as well. That looks pretty awesome. And Longevity is another one. Hmm. Those two look very similar. This is a little bit darker, I think, right? It's just a darker green. Let's put them both on the same. Wow, those are really similar. It's odd. Are they the exact same? I don't think so. Hey, go back. Preview. That looks light, okay. And then... The longevity... Yeah, I'm having a hard time telling. They're, they're, they're very similar, if not the same. I don't think they're the same, but they're, it's similar. All right, so, and uh, that's one, two, three, four, five. There's one more. Enameled Generation Die, I believe, is the last. That's like a brown color. Uh, mustardy Olive. It's, what's weird is all of those colors look pretty cool in the Executioner outfit. I just think the Executioner outfit just looks amazing, and uh, it's probably why all these dies look great. So overall, I think we did pretty good today. I got that rare die. I'm not a big fan of them selling the gem store armor as piecemeal, like getting a helm and shoulders separate. I, I prefer them to be in entire outfits altogether. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the skins I picked up today. Well, that's going to wrap things up. I hope you enjoyed this gem store preview vid. If you did, please hit that like button and favorite. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when future videos are released. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. And I'll see you next time. Take care.